Um, we, uh, we are talking about uh, um, risk management, yeah, uh, and you know how to how to calculate like the whole risk management. You know, sorry, like what? You good? Yeah. So we're talking about risk management, and you know how to you know calculate like risk management like uh how to uh position size our trade and you know uh calculate risk um in our trading you know properly uh that's been something you know we've been looking at and so um let's get straight into it right let's get straight into it so uh it's, it's gonna be more practical trust me it's not a lot it's not like a big deal it's something that's so very it's something that's so very easy to 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 understand you know it's not a lot of um, pressure right so um let me give an example let me give an example on you know the whiteboard you know let me first paint the picture for you guys first so that we can understand like what we're doing so um you know Let's say, so I'm gonna give you guys like two k, uh, two trade scenario, right? So uh, let's say this is uh, the validation point. Uh, stop loss usually below the last low, right? And let's say we have a TP right here. This is trade one scenario, right? Um, this is stage two scenario right here. So this is the two scenario, you know, the same variation one. So let's say this is our TP right here. This is our entry point right here. And this is our stop loss right here, right? Let's just use this two example for now. So now let's make some measurement, right? If we want to set, since we say our stop loss is going to be here, right? Um, between these two, which one do you think the stop loss? So let's say we lodge in our standard lot size is uh, one lot size, right? So standard lot size, the lot size is equals to one lot, right? So let's say. The distance between our entry and our stop loss here is 50 pips. And the distance between our stop loss and entry here is like maybe 80 pips, right? Oh, sorry, double of that because it looks, it looks more like double to me, right? So it's like, let's say this is 100 pips, 100 pips. Right, so that means from our point of entry, it's 50 pips on this. So by the time you set the stop loss, what do you think our stop loss is going to be in the case of this one? And we're putting a standard lot size of one lot size. What do you think it's going to be? That means that means it's going to be um uh, usually pips is kind of, uh, in four digit numbers. So Let's get back first. Let's let me get something clear to us, right? So it's like if I want to measure this from this point to this point, it says 120 pips, but it's actually 1208. Do you understand? Usually we don't count the last numeral, but when you want to do your calculation, we say one it, it, it uh, one two zero eight, right? That's the, that's the standard calculation of pips, right? So, but usually we use the the, 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 the first three digit. So if we want to calculate it as such, so let's say, so let's say on the white boy, so let's say this one, so in, in if we want to add it, this is not, uh, so 50 pips 
of course, we had the last zero to it, right? Right? Yeah. So we had yeah. the last zero to it, right? So now, if we want to get the dollar value of the stop loss, what is it going to be? That means the five, this 500 is going to be the dollar value Dollar value equals to what the uh, the stop loss the stop loss peep count right stop loss peep count multiply by lot size right. by lot size, right? So this is gonna give, so what does it mean? Um, it's gonna be equals to, so dollar value is equals to 500, right? The PIP, right? Multiplied by one lot size, 1 1.00. So dollar value, dollar value, equals to five hundred dollars agree mm. yes all right let's do the same so if you want to go by the same thing dollar value for this is not going to be dollar value using the same formula is what one thousand uh multiplied by one point zero zero dollar value is what one thousand right right yes thousand dollars simple right so this is the calculation but why is it important for us to know how we calculate now that we've understood how to calculate you know our we've understood how to calculate our stop loss you know um hold on So now that we've understood how to calculate our the dollar value of our stop loss, now why why is this important? I give you a two scenario, scenario one, scenario two. So let's say you have. So let's let's let add on page. So let's say your total account balance account balance is equals to for example hypothetically speaking right ten thousand dollars right so depending you be the one to set the rule for your risk right so now let's say conservatively you per trade you want to risk two percent right risk per trade and mind you for you to be successful in this game your risk must be consistent so if you risk 2% on this trade, you have to risk 2% on the next trade until you scale up your account and then you want to increase it 3%. If not, if you use 2% risk today and use 5% risk tomorrow, you're not going to have consistent uh, 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 profit, right? Because if you if you use 2% risk today and you make 4% every more ratio two, tomorrow you, you increase your risk because you made winning a winning trade the last time, you increase your risk to... Five percent. What happened? Let's say you lose that trade. That means you are down minus one percent totally. So make your risk risk per trade at any specific time a constant k, right? So let me indicate it down. So this has to be a constant, right? So let's say two percent per trade, right? Two percent per trade. So two percent is of um ten thousand is what two hundred dollars right right yes. two hundred dollars yes. so that every single trade you execute because you want to be conservative your risk per trade is two hundred dollars right it's going to be two hundred dollars so now now let me not bring back these two cases in there, right let me re let me redo it right here so now look at this scenario carefully. We have we have two scenarios right here. 
So uh, I'm going to take this to be our TP, which is the green line. And I'm going to take this to be our stop loss, which is somewhere around here below the last low. And I'll take this right here to be, you know, our entry point. Do you get it? So yes. uh, what we're looking for, before we even execute entry, we want to know what is the stop loss pip count, right? So let's go to another trade scenario. So let's say this is coming this way. It has been coming this way. You can see we have something like this. We have something like version two right here, and it moved. And let's see the RTP is right here, right? So let me take this off. Let's say this is our TP, hypothetically speaking, right? Let's say below this level is our stop loss. Uh, consider this point right here as our entry point. Are you guys with me? So for us to calculate our risk, we need to know the number of pips here. So let's assume if price is going to give us the distance from the entry to where we want to put our stop loss, which is a few pips below which is uh, a few people below the last low. Let's consider it to be 50 pips, all right? Fifty pips, right? And because this is like two times the size of this, so let's consider this to be a hundred and twenty pips, right? Are you guys with me? Yes. Yes, I'm with you. All right. So now, remember, now I'm trying to show you guys like the little things that people don't pay attention to that separates the winning trader from the loser trader or the consistent trader from the inconsistent trader. That's why when people come out and say trading is 20% technicals, 40% risk management and and the remaining 40% psychology. It would not make sense to you, but the moment you start getting exposed to this, you're gonna see that it makes perfect sense. So now, remember what is our rule, right? To get the to get uh, uh, to get our, our formula, right? Uh, our formula. Uh, says um, to get our risk in dollar value our risk in dollar value is equal to stop loss That means that means the stop loss multiplied by whichever loss size we want to we want to pick, right? So now most most of the time, right? We don't know the stop loss uh, the, the 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 lot size. We don't know the lot size we want to use, but of course, the NT4 chart gives us, you know. Uh, 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 um, sorry, most of the time we don't know this loss size we want to use, right? We want to execute a trade, and this is the point of you know risk management itself, right? We don't know the loss size we want to use, so that when we adjust our 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 stop loss, our stop loss is going to fit in perfectly into what we intend to risk. So what does it mean? So now when you when you get to the point of execution in the first market. This is what you want to do. 
you want to be able to equate this stop loss, right? In such a way that when you set your stop loss here, it's going to be the same value with how much you want to risk per trade, which is $200. Do you understand? So the goal is how am I able to set my stop loss by using the right lot size, by using the right lot size in such a way that when I execute my trade right at this spot and I put my stop loss right here, it's going to give me exactly $200. That is what risk management is all about. Do you guys understand this part before I move on? Yes. Yes. All right. George, do you understand? All right. I think George is not here. So uh, let's let's no, let's. I'm go. here. I, I understand. All right, all right. So now, in this case, we've already know our stop loss, right? Which is our stop loss count, right? We already know the dollar value we want to risk, which are solved from this, right? The only thing that is a question mark, right? Is the lot size we want to use so how do we figure out our lot size right is by making we're going to do a little math the lot size the subject of the formula right right honestly you don't really need much of this calculation but i just want to explain to you from the fundamental basis so if i want to make lot size the subject of the formula what i'm simply going to do is divide both sides right by stop loss count you understand so I'm going to divide this one by stop loss count. Then I'm going to divide this one by stop loss count, right? So by the time we divide it, right? Sorry. By the time we divide this, we divide this right here. We divide it. That means lot size. Now the new formula now. That means for you to obtain your lot size, which is where I want to get uh, arrived at. That means lot size, I mean, mathematics, right? You know, basic mathematics. Lot size will be what? Risk in dollar value. Risk in dollar value divided. by the stop loss count. Do we do we get it? Yes, so for this particular equation with the lot size before? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, sorry, ask your question again. What do you say? So we're risking um we want to risk 200 so the last size will be four now you get it now you get it so now now let's paint a good picture now so now this is actually the main formula i want you guys to start to wait so if you want to do your risk management this should be the actual formula now because at the end of the day we will always get the number of pips because your chart will only show you where you need to set your stop loss behind the last slow, right? And you already know the number, do you understand, in dollar value that you're willing to risk. So you already know that 2% of your account means $20 on a $10,000 account, all right? This 2% on your $1,000 account may be $20. So if you feel like that, you want to increase it to 5%. You know the five percent is fifty dollars. That one are always a variable that are going to be available. The lot size that you're going to use to execute your trade is what's not available, and that is why we're able to arrive at this equation right here. This equation right here, right? So now let's solve for this case. Let's solve for this case now. But before we solve for the both case, you can see that there are two different setups right here now. Can someone tell me the difference between these two setups in terms of the stop loss size? You can see that the stop loss of one is more extended than another, right? Hello, anyone with me? Yes. All right. All right. 
you guys can see that the stop loss of this is 50 pips, but the stop loss of this is like double the stop loss of this. Now, for people that are new traders, for people that are, are traders that they really don't know how the market works, they're going to say, oh, this risk is too big for me, so I'm not going to take any trade. Why forgetting that your role as a trader is every given opportunity that the market gives to you is an opportunity for you to make money. The market will always give you one ratio for risk reward trades. So this it gives you one ratio one. So which it gives you one ratio two. So which it gives you one ratio five. Your duty as a trader is to define is to define your risk accordingly and execute with risk management. Whether it's one ratio one, one ratio two, one ratio five, one ratio ten. It's none of your business. You see an opportunity, define your risk. It shouldn't be more than what you are start to risk at whatever profit the market gives you. Do you guys get it? Some of that was muffled, but I do understand what you're saying. All right. All right. So let me repeat myself again. I said, if you look at this two case scenario, right? Mm -hmm. We have, uh, hold on. If you look at this two case scenario, this one right here, you can see that market provide you with shorter stop loss size. But in this case, market provided you with an, an extended stop loss size, right? All right. Now, these are the reality we experience in the market every single day, right? Not all time you're going to see a trade that uh, a trade opportunity that's going to give you just short stop loss. Sometimes the market will open a bigger opportunity for you, the bigger stop loss, right? For you. So I say your duty as a trader is not to discriminate whatever opportunity the market gives to you, provided it's one ratio one. It's like for me personally, anything from one ratio one upward, I take all those kind of trades. I'm not always waiting for one ratio four when I miss the trade of one ratio one and the market is presenting me. This is an opportunity for me to make money personally. Right. I said my duty now is to understand how I execute my trade in such a way that whether, whether it's 50 pips uh, of stop loss or is 120 pips stop loss, every single thing that I'm going to do with these two trades should not be more than this $200. Do you get it? Yeah. If I'm trading the 120 pips or 50 pips, how am I able to adjust it in such a way that it's not beyond how much I intend to lose? So that when I lose my trade, so that when I lose my trade, it's not going to be like, oh, this cost, this one right here costs me $200 and this one right here costs me $400 because it's extended. I need to be able to adjust it. And that is where position sizing comes in. So position sizing now as a definition is a technique that is used to gauge your risk per any trade in such a way that your risk does not supersede what you've defined to risk per trade. In this case, $200. So now let's take, uh, 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 um, let, let me now give you a practical approach to it. So let's calculate for this, right? So if the risk in dollar value says, so let's continue, right? So for this one, let's go um, text. So, so if the risk per trade says, um, that means a uh, lot size will be, okay, let's go down for this one. So to get a lot size, it's gonna be equal to, what is the uh, risk in dollar value? Two hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That two hundred dollars divided by what's our stop loss count? Five hundred, right? Fifty pips plus the last zero, right? So can someone do the mathematics for me? What do we get? Uh, two hundred divided by divided five hundred. Is it point zero one? Yeah, that means yeah, that means we got zero point four lot size. 
That means if you execute your trade right here at 0 0.4 lot size, and your stop loss is right below this point, that means by the time the price hit this point, it's going to only cost you $200. And let's say this is one ratio two. Let's say this is one ratio two. So 0 0.4 lot size. Let's say this is one ratio two. That means 50 pips, you're looking to make 100 pips. That means it's, it's going to be 0 0.4. So to, to get our TP right here, it's going to be 0 0.4. Multiply by so I'm um, sorry, sorry. Let, let me let me take it step by step. So if you're not if you're risking two hundred dollars here, that is by the time price reach here and it's well one ratio two. That means you are anticipating hundred pips, right? Right. You are anticipating hundred pips, which is a thousand. So by the time you by the time you multiply by the zero point four, what do we have? That means we have. $400, right? Which is $400. Do you guys understand it? Yeah. Yes. So now, let's look let's look at the same thing on the second case scenario, right? So apparently, we can say the same thing for the second case scenario, which is what? Lot size lot size honestly by the time you master you don't really need all this formula before you take a trade right it just becomes a part of you now what is our risk factor here is uh, uh um, 12 dollars right yeah the value divided by what 120 pips plus the last zero which is about 20. can someone give me the mathematics real quick yep i'm doing it right now so that'd be 0 0.16. That means it's going to be 0 0.16 lot size. Mm -hmm. So that means if, if I'm going to be executing this, I want to risk the same thing. That means I'm going to be executing 0 0.16 right here. By the time it hits my stop loss, it still gives me the same $200, right? right. So let's say this was one ratio one, right? So if I risk one, uh, let's say this is one ratio 1.2, for example, right? So one ratio 1.2 is going to give me like 120 pips. Um, okay, someone do the mathematics for me. Like uh, one ratio 1.2, like um, uh, 1.2. 1.2. Um, that means um, I'm having like one ratio 1.2 should. How many pips are you looking at? How many pips are you looking at? So let's say, yeah, let's say here is about uh, one ratio 1.2. So let's say it's going to give us like about maybe 140 pips, right? 140 pips. Yeah, 140 pips, right? So that means 140 plus the, the, the last zero multiplied by what? 0 0.16, right? So someone do the mathematics for me. What are we going to get? We're looking at two hundred and twenty-four dollars. Two hundred and twenty-four dollars. Is it is it is it a fair trade for us? Mm, I mean, that, 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 that's 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 not a bad trade at the end of the day. Yeah, right? it's not a bad trade. It's just it's a one-on-one -on -one type ratio. Exactly, exactly. So, but now look at look at both case scenario. Different lot, different stop loss. Uh, 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 um, length, different stop loss size, but look at how we've been able to maintain the same risk on both of them. Right? Do you get it? So many people get it wrong in forex. They think because I use zero point four lot size on my last trade, I gotta use zero point four lot size here. By the time you use zero point four lot size here on one twenty pips, you're already at about zero point four. That's a for eighty dollars, that means you have risked beyond two percent. That means you've risked about four point eight percent, four point eight percent per trade. That means you've exceeded past your risk threshold. And you know what usually happens when you risk more than you can bear, right? You become attached to the trade. 
then you become psychologically out of flow with the, with the trade you are on. Now, any tick against you is going to cause you anxiety. And because it causes you anxiety, you won't be able to make rational decisions in your trading. And this is what messes a lot of traders up. Do you get it? Yeah. So the yeah. goal as a trader is to be able to execute every trade within your risk threshold so that you don't get unnecessarily anxious of the trade. So this anxiousness does not cause you to be irrational with your trading and causes everything that moves against you to get you to be in a state of agitation. So how are you able to do that is by practicing position sizing. So this is what, what we just did right now is position sizing. So position sizing is a technique in forex trading that you use to size your risk per trade in such a way that is within the risk threshold you are willing to risk so that you set your stop loss in such a way that your stop loss in dollar value does not exceed the risk per, your risk per trade. Do we understand it now? Yeah. Yes. Question before I, I will go on the live chat for me to show practical examples. All right. In that case, in that case, I, I want to believe we're doing a fantastic job. So um, let's go on the live chat. 